This tutorial is about objects and labels in GeoGebra. When you first load GeoGebra it will default to this view uh, which has uh, axes but no grid. Um, as we're going to look at uh, geometrical constructions first uh, I'm going to turn the axes off. Now every object in GeoGebra has properties which you can access with a right click and the drawing pad which is where you do all your drawing is no exception. At the moment axes are checked so I'm going to take those off. We'll look at axis properties uh, in a different tutorial. Okay so now I've got a nice blank drawing area. The first thing I'm going to do is to create some points. So I'm going to go up to the point creation tool here and click it and you'll see you get some instructions for how to use it here. New point, click on the drawing pad or on a line function or curve. Well we've got a blank drawing pad at the moment so I'm going to click three points and you'll see that GeoGebra labels those uh, helpfully in alphabetical order. Okay so I've created my three points. If I want to move those around I need to use the move tool which is in the top left hand corner. Okay you can see it highlights as I float the, the cursor over the top and now I can move it around and if you look in this panel here which is called Algebra View uh, the coordinates of the points are displayed and they change dynamically as I move the points around. The other thing that I can do from here is you can see each object has a, a radio button next to it. If I click that I can hide the point. See I'm toggling point A on and off. Okay, and I can do that with any of them. Okay, now I'm going to create a new object which will be a polygon, in fact a triangle, using these three points as the vertices. So I'm going to find the polygon tool which is here. Click on here, the instructions are select all vertices, then click first vertex again. So I'm going to click A, and you'll see I get a, a line. B, it will now start to drag the polygon out. Click C, and to finish it off I must go back to A. Click on A, and the triangle is created. Now again, looking over in the um, algebra display here, we'll see we've got three New, uh, new line segments which are called A, B and C and we've got the interior of the triangle which is called Polygon 1. Okay, now notice that these sit under a new heading called Dependent Objects. Okay, they depend on the three points that we created earlier um, and therefore uh, you can't do anything with those particularly you have to use the points. So uh, again if I go back to the Move tool I can pull point A around, no problem, and the triangle changes dynamically with it. If I try and pick up the one of the um, sides, I can't do that. Okay, It will highlight, but you can't move it. Um, you can, however, pick up the, the whole polygon and move that around, Okay, because GeoGebra knows what to do with that. If you try and move one of the sides, uh, it doesn't understand what you want. So you'll see that all the sides have been labelled, um, if you don't want to see those labels, then all you do is to right click on an object and you'll see that you have the, op the option show label. Click that and the label disappears. Okay, so I'm going to do that for all three. Okay, I've still got the move tool selected, so again I can pick those up and move them around. Now the labels themselves. Um, are placed in a relative location to the object but you can actually move those around within limit okay that's as far as that one will go it will stay within a certain distance of the the point it relates to okay so I can move that around and get that looking just the way I want okay and once that's done I pick up the points again and the label stays in the same relative position. Finally on labelling, if you keep creating objects and having to get rid of the labels that's pretty tedious so um, GeoGebra has an option for that. If you go up to the options menu, 
follow down to labeling and you can choose which objects receive labels when you create them which is pretty useful um, I can also hide using the radio buttons for example the sides of the triangle I can hide the whole polygon I can bring the sides back and not have the interior so any combination of those that I like okay so that's objects and labels